Hey guys, I apologize for looking like shit. My chat out. Being in a moment. I came back from training. Now, uh, an hour and 50 minutes ago. If you look at my screen here, it is currently 22.59. Most plane 300. Which means 11 pm. I'm just saying 11 pm. I've been awake since 7.30 am in the morning. I have a 9 to 5 online. After that, I have that's Monday to Friday, and then after that, Tuesday to Friday, I also have a six to nine, six um, p.m. to nine p.m. three hour training boxing training session. I come home, I pretty much only have time to eat. I'm working the entire day, like I'm no time for video game, no time for instant gratification because I have just, I just have fucking so many projects coming up. I have I work all day. After that, after my work is complete. I pretty much just go training without more, more working again towards my dreams or my goals. Working during the day, working during the night. I, I kind of just only have time to eat a meal. I've got broccoli, fish, chicken, rice. I've got soup on the side, but it's, it smells like an expired. Can't lie. Been in my fridge for a few days. I've got potato chips and I air fried. And yeah, it honestly tastes amazing, but like it's just sinking into a black hole that's my stomach. During training, I was so hungry, I didn't even eat anything before that. I was too late to cook. Because I was too preoccupied with work. I mean, again, it was, I was lazy to cook. I was lazy to like delegate time to, to, to cook because I was like, you know what, I have so much work to do. I might just complete work. Anyway, for the main topic of the video, which is like instant gratification, no fat, like jerking off, porn, any of this type of thing, Instagram, like social media. If you're just busy enough within your day, you will simply find no time to do these activities. If you have the time to scroll on TikTok for a few hours a day, you have time to scroll on YouTube for a few hours a day, watch, uh, watch a few hours of YouTube videos. I'm actually watching a YouTube video, I'm, I'm, honest, I'm watching a YouTube video now, of what? You guess what? Fighting! I got work! Yeah, I'm, I'm looking at, I'm looking at my goals as I eat, and I recharge. So I can, so, so I have more training and more work to do tomorrow. Like, there is no time to jerk off, there's no time to be a loser and play video games. I really want to play that. I'm going to be that honest with you guys. I, I miss Apex. I miss creating Apex content. I might analyze my 3,400 damage game for a YouTube video. And then that's it. Like, I, I don't have time. I don't. I literally do not have time to play video games. And that's how it should be. And that's how you destroy all forms of a thing. Bad habits. If you're just busy enough during the day, you won't have time. I, when, I'm, when I hit the bed... Like, I'm so exhausted, like, I don't have enough, and I don't play my phone, because it's pointless and stupid, because I literally need to sleep. Even if I play my phone with the light on and everything, I would, wouldn't manifest enough energy out of, like, magically nowhere in order to keep playing my phone. I would just sleep straight away. After this meal, I'm away for 10 minutes, I'm going to take a shower, and then I'm going to sleep. Because as soon as I hit the bed, I'm, I'm, just, I'm just fucking I'm out. I'm out of life. Like, motherfucking man. <laughs> There's guys out here that genuinely struggle with, like, their TikTok addiction. Addiction. A porn addiction, a social media addiction, an Instagram addiction, this addiction, YouTube addiction, binge addiction. You have too much time on your hands. Get Google Calendar, organize your day, and get some fucking work done. You're too... You're living life on easy mode. You're too preoccupied with bullshit because you have too much time on your hands. No, but you don't understand, Jimmy, but my life is... Blah, 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 blah. Shut the fuck up. How long have I been awake? 7.30, 7 p.m. already awake for 12 hours. No, no, it's 11. Did the math in my head, 3 hours, 30 minutes. I've been awake 15 hours and 30 minutes. I've been working non-stop the entire day. I took one break in the middle of my working to do what? To watch fighting, to study fight footage, and I was in no way worse than Fulton. There's no fat shit, it's stupid. So many guys, young guys, are so fucking dumb, bro. I was, I was walking to boxing gym today. My head looks fucking ugly as fuck. I just knocked my glasses out. Oh, I'm gonna keep it out. Keep it off. I was walking to boxing today. And I was thinking to myself, like, there's some guys out here in Hamza's Discord, in, like, in life in general. They're counting the days they don't jerk off, bro. Like, who gives a fuck? What will that benefit you in life? What work do you get done? I, I'm not saying, I'm not advocating jerking off. Of course not. It's a waste of time, it's a waste of energy, it's a waste of like, it makes you lethargic, it makes you lazy. Come on, man. Oh, but my eight day streak, like, who gives a fuck? And then, like, other self improvement circle jokers are gonna be like, oh, yeah, well done, well done, eight day streak, young, jerked off. Bro, 
eight day streak. And what else have you done within an eight day streak? You're just resisting the urge the entire day. Come on, man. Why oh, does school work? Come on, man. School's fucking easy. You chat GBT. You just Google. Use Canva. Emails. You can send emails to your teachers. And most of it's online these days. Send emails to your teachers saying you want more work. You can rinse curriculum early. With GCSC, with any of these high school diplomas, you can always finish the early. If you're smart enough, they'll allow you to take the exam early, to do all the coursework early if you're doing B-Tech or vocational course. If you're smart enough and you show that you're hardworking, you can do all of it, like, you can condense the time that you do it in. You don't need to wait so long. It's pointless. Not enough young men are busy. Not enough young men are preoccupied with becoming great. Not enough, not enough young men dare to be great. And I'm not too bothered. As was competition for me. But you, watch this video. You should be bothered, man. Especially if you're one of those angry no fappers. But to, to write in, but no, I'm not writing my fucking comment section. But no, if I really help me, Jimmy, you don't know anything about self improvement. You're a bum, you're a fucking lazy piece of shit. I just look goofy no matter what hairstyle I do. <laughs> not like Wolverine. Na, 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 na. Shh. Come on, man. I was watching some YouTube videos. Um, yeah, they're not really good. Just fighting, bodybuilding. It's my YouTube. Jake Paul and ADS. I, I um, think Jake Paul's gonna win by knockout. Logan Paul being an idiot. Logan Paul could be KSI. Just if he was more disciplined with the jab, he was more disciplined with the combos, and it was more of a pretty pressure you know, thing. He's a good counter puncher, but he should have just pressured um, KSI more at times when he should have pressured. He like he looked for the perfect punch. He should be fucking swinging, bro. Swinging, just non-stop hooks, hooks to the body, distract them well, with the hooks to the body, punches to the body, punches and bunches to the body. He's trying to protect his body, and then before you know it, his chin's are open, and you just fucking knock him out, bro. Jay, Logan Paul would have won that fight if he wasn't a fucking like you know. A uh, comedian, an idiot, a uh, fucking actor. But yeah, I was disappointed to watch because I used to be a low gangster, but I was also a KSI fan. I was split on that, but yeah, I was just disappointed to watch. Boxing World react to Inui versus Fulton Win. Yeah, even Manny Pacquiao's complimenting him. You know, it's, you know, it's the great his goal in the bonus generation. He's one of more powerful fighter. fighters. I don't know. Um, I don't know much about anything. The only person he can really fight at this point, I feel like it's just Mayweather. He's gonna he's gonna be in the all time grades. Mayweather, Sugar Ray Robinson, Roberto Duran, Sugar Ray Leonard, Tommy Hurst. He's gonna he's gonna have to fight all these guys. They don't they're not even around anymore. Hands of Stone. I think a prime Roberto Duran give him a really good run for his money. <laughs> Someone else would give him really good money more his money is Prime Boy Mayweather. Uh, Mayweather would no instantly to not trade in the pocket like Fulton did. And not stand and bang. He would definitely just work him. Like Fulton could have won. Because he him a really good one too. So he could have won off points off that. I don't think he could knock for uh, no way out. But you can win a split decision. A win doesn't win. Um and he will change his belt and everything. If you just um, stick to the footy shell, stick to the one two and try to maintain distance or using his um, reach and height. The surprising thing was that for in no way we're just working with the jab out boxing with one twos and everything in the, in the pocket and outside the pocket as well. It seemed like as if you know it had longer reach than Fulton, which I don't think this is the case. Is it the case? Uh I'm I'm, I'm done. I'm not eating until I'm full. How much reach does you know I have? It looked like, it looked like in um it looked like uh Fulton had Oh did he update box rec? Come on man. Steven Fulton. Twenty one oh hey, you gotta move that shit. Twenty five wins and zero fucking losses. He's nuts. Number one super man away in the world. Jesus fuck. Jesus. Thirty years old. 25 and 0 undefeated. Yeah, he's he's gonna be great. He's retiring in five years as well, so yeah, that's interesting. 
Um, Stephen Fulton, first loss to Norway anyway. It's an honourable loss. It's an honourable loss. He has a 70 and a half inch reach, 179 centimetres. And 171, yeah, as I thought he had. But he's much shorter than me. No, 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 he's a bit shorter than me. I'm not gonna be with what the fucking living shall me. What the fuck? I'm not gonna be stand around and say, oh, yo, be annoyed. Motherfucker, he would whoop. I need another 10 years of a fucking experience, dude, in order to stand with him, motherfucker, dude. And I'll be fucking 28 by then. And he would, he would, he would whoop me right now. He's literally in his prime. He's literally 35 years old and he's prime in no way. Guy's fucking nuts. 67 uh, and a half inch reach, 171 centimeters. Yeah, I don't know my reach. Guys, can you tell, tell my reach from this? Boom! Dude, the uh, Insane. I'm gonna have to go pro too. Just fuck it, bro. And then I'll catch you guys in the next video. That's pretty much it. It's fighting. It's my life. Fighting, working, fighting, working, fighting, working. And it's just how it should be. I, I want to be dead honest with you. I was contemplating opening up the website. Oh, you know, to fucking whack the bishop. To bash the bishop, bro. But then I was so tired. I was like, no, fuck it, I can't. I just genuinely can't. I need to take a shower. I feel like I stink, I'm dirty. I have training tomorrow. I need to take a shower. And then I need to fucking I need to prepare for tomorrow. Tomorrow's gonna be another fucking day like of this. Just 15 hours, 16 hour days. And I'm like, I get like 8, 9 hours of sleep. Class can start, it starts at 9 to 5, but like I have another hour, I feel like I can just fit in, sleep, just sleep, rest, recover, what I want to do, so what I want to do, catch you guys in the next video, peace.